In this short demo, we will see requirements integration use case between Spark CA and JAMA. But before we get to the demo, let's look at some of the benefits of integrating visual modeling and requirements management tools. First and foremost, it allows each team to use their tool of choice. Processes, workflows, systems, etc. Uh, can be modeled in Spark CA, uh, which is what the tool is designed for. And proper requirements management and review and gathering can happen within JAMA or a similar requirements tool. It also provides cross-tool visibility uh, since all the updates are kept into sync. Um, both teams can always know what's going on. And last but not least, it yields traceability throughout the process. So with the requirements in requirements space, it's not just, it's not just about the requirements themselves. It's also about the traces and relationships between them. So let's look at the use case. First and foremost, we're going to see different requirements being created in Enterprise Architect that would be synced over to JAMA. Now that's pretty straightforward. But when we lay these out and start talking about context and traces and relationships, then we also have to start looking at relationships like dependencies, associations, and others, as well as hierarchy. So parent and child relationships. With desktop sync, you can recreate all of these relationships between the two tools. Well, this is great and works um, in the direction from EA to JAMA, we might also have use cases where this is needed um, in the opposite direction. So in the demo, we'll also see the same use case being done the other way, where you can create requirements in JAMA and have a certain hierarchy between them and certain other relationships between new and existing requirements and be able to see that be replicated in Enterprise Architect. So let's get right to it. So here we are in JAMA and we have a set of requirements um, that have been pre-created and we see the same set of requirements in Sparks. And then the visual piece is just seeing the relationships between them. Now we're going to create a new requirement in Spark CA. We're going to give it a name and it's just going to be something similar to already existing ones and we're going to set certain properties, specifically priority and status. Now we're going to save that. And as the next step, we're going to reorganize the hierarchy. We're going to move um, the newly created requirement to be the parent of all the previously existing requirements. Therefore, the five requirements that previously were in my system now are going to be child requirements of my new requirement. Now I'm going to create another new requirement here in Sparks. And the reason I'm creating a second one is just to be able to showcase uh, some of the other relationship types, not just parent-child. And for this requirement, we're going to also set a few properties like priority and status. And then as the next step, we're going to create uh, relationships between this requirement and some of the existing ones. And before that, we're going to move it underneath the new parent requirement that we just created a few minutes ago. Now let's create a first dependency uh, relationship between our new requirement, one of the existing ones. And then also create an association relationship between the new requirement and one of the ex other existing ones. So now let's recap on what we did. First, we created a new requirement, made it a parent of all the other existing requirements that were already recorded in the system. And then as a second piece, we created another new requirement that we made a child item. And for this, Second new requirement, we created a couple other relationship types, specifically association and dependency, that to two other requirements within our system.
So now if we click into one of the newly created requirements, we actually, if you saw on the diagram that I showed, we have this link that's being recorded on this requirement in Sparks that will lead us directly to JAMA. So this will launch the mirroring requirement within JAMA. And here in JAMA, once we expand the functional requirements set, we can see that the project hierarchy for requirements has been synchronized and redone here in JAMA as well. And if we look at the parent requirement, then we can see that the priority and status are also kept in sync between the two systems. And if we look at all the functional requirements, then we can see the new parent requirement created with its status and priority. And we can also see the, the second requirement we created with its properties, priority of low and status approved as well. And then if we click into the second requirement, we can view uh, some of the relationships that we created. We specifically created an association and dependency that are mapped to dependency and relation in JAMA. So this is just to show that you can map the, require, the requirement relationships as you please. Now, last piece that I want you to pay attention to is this global ID. And this is just another added a traceability piece to the integration where we will record or TaskTop Sync records this global ID into the alias field in Spark CA. And that's just for you to be able to trace the requirements between the two systems. Now we're going to do the whole thing in JAMA. Create a new requirement in JAMA and include it in the hierarchy of requirements. And to make it more interesting, we're going to create it on the third level. So we're going to move it underneath one of the previously existing child requirements, sort of making a three level hierarchy between the requirements. And then we're going to also create um, another relationship um, between this requirement and one of the previously existing requirements. Now if we move to Sparks, then we can view all the changes also in Sparks. We can see that the requirement hierarchy has been recreated in Sparks on three levels. And if we move this requirement onto our canvas, then we can also see that the relationship between the new requirement and one of the existing ones has also been maintained. This was a short demo of integrating requirements between Sparks Enterprise Architect and JAMA. For more information, please visit tastop.com.